Since taking Accelerator, my monthly revenue has increased by more than 50%. I would say 60%. Um, as I said, when I started, uh, before I joined Accelerator, I was probably at seven to 10 patients. I am now at 35 to 40. I'm at maximum potential. I think I'm seeing more patients than I want to see. I'd like to keep it at 30. Um, my profit has skyrocketed. Uh, I see patients through their entire plan of care, usually between 12 to 14, sometimes 16 visits. Not only that, but the patients, I've, because of Accelerator, I have developed the confidence to listen to patients and also enable them to continue seeing me as wellness patients. And they often tend to want to continue because of the value that I've provided them. Um, and yeah, my profit has skyrocketed and continues to do so. Um, I think I'm ready to hire a receptionist at this point. I'm Tripti Mehta, uh, the owner of Mina Medicine Spine and Sports Physical Therapy. I started uh, my clinic about almost 15 months, a little bit more than 15 months ago in downtown DC. I um, started a cash-based PT clinic, never been an owner of a cash-based uh, clinic before. Um, prior to that, I've always worked at uh, in-network, uh, insurance-based, um, private clinics. I also worked for a huge hospital system in DC, which was uh, one of my better physical therapy experiences as well. But um, yeah, here I am, uh, great, more than 15 months later, doing really well in downtown DC and um, proud to be a cash-based uh, PT clinic owner. <laughs> I have gained so much, more than 150% from the program. Um, it all started from um, learning about just first how to engage and with the patient. I mean, we as physical therapists, I think we're all very empathetic and we want to get the patient to a place where they're happy and they feel like they've got their life back. But what I learned more from Accelerator is how better to even engage and be empathetic and listen right from the get-go, from giving them a free consultation to learning to con get them to come in for a free discovery visit, to being confident in uh, delivering what the patient wants, which is value and being, and what you think they may value may not necessarily be what they value. So it's important to listen for that, um, which is very different from a traditional PT model at times. And um, most importantly, being confident to raise prices, to get profit, to follow up with patients that have objections in coming to see you, considering especially that mine is a cash-based PT, and then continuing, continuing to nurture those relationships with the patient even after their plan of care is completed. Um, not only that, but introducing upsells to a direct marketing plan and to continue to grow as a practice and to profit from all the things that all the nuggets that I've learned from Accelerator. So I'll explain all that if you ask me some more questions, but in a nutshell, I would say all of that and the value that I get from listening to Paul's videos on Facebook, on YouTube, I've subscribed to all that, I get his emails. So I keep listening to all the nuggets that I learned in Accelerator again and again. And as the years have gone by, he adds something extra and I don't know how much value I get from those four minute videos as well. I feel so compelled because honestly, I have gained so much success from Accelerator, way more than I thought I would. Um, I got into Accelerator as a very skeptical, nervous, cash-based PT owner. I would say I was kind of naive when I started. Um, I was taking some very baby steps, stumbling. I didn't know how I was going to apply all the things I was learning because it was just seemed to be um, a lot of content and I felt like I didn't trust myself 
to grow and apply all of that. And I have, I have to say, my practice has grown to full potential in just a year after joining Accelerator. And I joined Accelerator because I was um, unsure about where to go with my cash-based PT practice, and I, it has made a huge difference. And I want people to join Accelerator for a reason because it has helped me grow my practice more than 50%. What I loved most about Accelerator was listening to Paul speak with so much conviction. I think I've told a lot of other physical therapists this. I would just listen to him intently and I don't know, something, when I listened to him, it drove home the message in the strongest way. Um, being live on Accelerator was a huge benefit. I understand listening to it later helped, but just being live on there, listening to him and then asking all these questions and then listening to his answers um, with all the conviction that he spoke, with the passion with which he spoke, I almost felt like I kind of was able to impart that during my con phone conversations with patients and during my discovery visits. Um, and I feel like when you believe in something so strongly that it's going to work, I think people begin to feel it. And that's what I felt like I gained the most out of Accelerator. Sure, so I mean, the major problems that I was facing before I joined Accelerator was, I was a very novice cash-based business owner. I only had about, I'd say about seven to 10 patients at that time. And so I was very skeptical if this business was gonna grow and how I was gonna grow it, um, how I was gonna get new patients, how I was gonna profit. Um, was I even gonna thrive six months down the line? Um, and yeah, I just kind of felt like I knew where to go because of all these other um, things that I was learning online with um, Jared Carter and Aaron LeBauer, uh, but I was still very skeptical. I felt like I needed more guidance. I guess I had my hands in a lot of different places trying to figure out how to grow uh, my business. And um, when I learned, I learned about Paul on Jared Carter's podcast. And when I um, first, um, you know, saw him, I honestly have to say, I was just like, wow, he speaks really fast. And, <laughs> and, and I was like, wow, he is, I love, all, you know, this guy knows so many things. He's very convincing. Um, and when I then I started to research Paul online and I read up a lot on him. I saw all his videos. And the one thing I noticed was, again, all that conviction. And, you know, the, the most important thing I noticed was how humble he was in the sense that you're, when he imparts all this knowledge, it's not something that's gonna change your business in one month. It takes time, it takes time to nurture and develop a relationship. It's kind of like decision making. For example, when I was gonna, if I were gonna buy an expensive television, I'm not gonna just go out there and buy it. I'm gonna do my research. I'm gonna read all these consumer reports. And when I saw those messages in a lot of his videos, I realized this guy is the guy for me to learn from. And that's, that's when I knew it was time to make a change. I think this is a very, very important question. Um, what has changed in my business since I took Accelerator and what have I started to do differently? Lots of things. I'll start with, um, again, the number one thing for me was empathizing with the patient and really connecting with them and it starts from the phone call when the phone rings and an inquiry is made it starts from that phone call <clears throat> relationship building takes time and that was the number one most important nugget that i got from it um and that it starts from that phone call and then the second thing I got out of that is setting up a free discovery session so that you meet that person 
that patient in person and let them get to watch your body language when you speak, you know, how you speak, your facial expressions, connection, again, me creating that connection is when the trust is being built. Um, it went from there to confidence building and raising my prices and almost getting every discovery session to convert into a full patient, a full live patient. Seeing them through their plan of care, the one, the other second most important thing that I gained out of Accelerator was, you know, when, when I started my cash-based practice, one of the selling points that a lot of, I guess, um, coaches would would teach was that, oh, we get patients better faster. We get them better in five or six visits. And I learned in Accelerator that, you know, if the patient needs more than five or six visits, they will see you through the 12 to 14 visits if that's what they need. The objection is not because they don't have the money. The objection is because they're not feeling heard because their value, they're not seeing the value in your care, the way the value is being provided. If you provide the value, they will come for those 14 visits or their 12 visits. Um, so that's the other thing I got out of Accelerator. And then my profit just rose as I believed in that. I've raised my prices three or four times already. Um, my clinic has grown to about, my average number of patients right now, I'm at my max. I go between 35 to 40 patients. I don't have any more room. I think I'm ready to raise my prices again uh, so that I can keep my patients at that 35 um, to 40 number so that doesn't go any higher because I don't think I can accommodate more patients. I'm not going to rush into hiring a therapist. As Paul said, that's not the first thing you want to do. Maybe go ahead and raise your prices a little bit. Um, two, the next important thing, fielding objections. Huge, huge, huge. I wouldn't have known how to field, field objections. I would have given up and I have way more confidence in that. Um, to knowing and executing a great marketing plan. And um, I feel like all those are the amazing nuggets that I've gained out of Accelerator. The impact that this program has had on my confidence and the ability to make better decisions and to make uh, profit has been a huge, uh, I think, tremendous, actually. Um, I'm just thinking about, this is August of 2017, I'm just thinking about uh, March 2016 is when I completed Accelerator. And by June or July of 2016, my confidence just started going up. I will say it's not something that just changes in a month. You've got to be willing to put in the effort. You can't give up even when the going gets tough. It takes time to apply everything you learn in Accelerator. And if you continue to do that, all the way from the first phone call script to the follow-up scripts, to fielding objections, to uh, continuing to listen to the patient, not just the visit, the first visit, but visit five, visit seven, because things change as you get them into uh, the follow-up visits as they're getting towards the completion of the plan of care. They, their needs and their goals and where they'd like to be may change as well. And that confidence just grew, which helped increase profitability, uh, which increased my conversion rate. I almost, I would say I have a, about an 80% conversion rate with my discovery visits. Um, and the decision making became, the more confident I grew, um, the more I learned from the discovery sessions that did not convert, the better decision making I was able to, to create. And it just grows on and on from there. That is one of the most valuable things about the Accelerator program. I loved being live actually on Accelerator. I tried not to skip uh, any of the live moments. I mean, you can hear a lot of the other PTs talking even in the recorded versions, but when you hear these questions pop up live, uh, it's, it's just amazing to hear what everybody 
、um, brings up into the program, and then the connections you create with all those business owners. Including new novice business owners like me, or other business owners that have already uh, been um, practicing and having their own businesses for a long time, the Facebook community that we had thereafter, and and the when when I saw people、uh, creating all their free reports or already creating their Facebook ads, I it would push me to kind of work harder and and、um, while I sometimes felt like I got bogged down, I felt um. I just felt that it was so、uh, valuable to hear everybody's input. It also was very valuable to hear different business owners being at a different pace in their business and a different growth rate, and to hear what issues they were facing and and、um, how they were tackling it. To have that level of support, to know that somebody else is kind of in the same place,、um, it's just amazing to, to know that. Uh, everybody's facing different issues. You're going to get through it.、Uh, you can contact those people and ask them how they were able to get through it.、Um, I think it's it's just very valuable to have that level of support. The impact that you've had in in、um, helping me raise my prices and acquiring new patients uh, is just、um, priceless. I would say it's just it is it has. Taken me so many steps forward. It's、um, played a huge impact in enabling me to grow as a as a business owner. If I've never learned how to to handle a business, it's very、uh, scary. It's kind of lonely, and、um, and you don't learn these things in PT school. And I'm just thinking, it's just been a year and a half, a little less than a year and a half. And I feel like at this point I'm able to give、um, help and give advice to people based on what I've learned, and I've been able to grow my practice to this point where I feel confident that I'm ready to grow. My goal is to end up having two or three person clinic、uh, to step back, hopefully, so that I can run the business and oversee the operations of the business, and most importantly,、um, really truly develop. A marketing plan that I continue to uh, uh, progress as the clinic progresses, and I wouldn't have had that confidence a year ago to even go there. One of my biggest goals was basically to have a thriving cash-based practice, to have、uh, to grow to a full potential, to have 30 to 35 patients a week, and、um, honestly, to be able to provide the type of care that I want to. Provide、uh, to patients, which is one-on-one, hour-based care, without having to see three patients an hour like I did. I would feel frustrated with some of those in-network systems where I just felt like I wasn't providing the value every every time I wanted to.、Um, and I feel like I'm I'm living my dream. I think this is my little baby. I'm nurturing it, and I am completely indebted to. To Paul and your entire team, I would say do not even blink an eyelid. Eyelid. This is a commitment that is going to add tenfold to your business. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, magically things are going to change in a month. You've got to stay committed. You've got to put in the effort. You've got to believe in yourself. Do you have to believe in ex- accelerator? Go. With a blindfold on, go full fledged in because you will see so much value, 150% value added to your business.、Um, do not even think twice about it. It was worth the money because very fast, with all the effort that I've put in and intently listening to Paul, I have been able to grow my business to full potential within a year. Yes, I did. I had a lot of reservations. I was a clinic owner with seven patients. I was very scared to invest.、Um, I don't know the two grand or three grand that I invested. And I have to say, hands down, looking back, it's nothing compared to where my business has grown. I feel so absolutely happy that I made that decision. A hundred and ten percent confident. It was the best decision I have made. And 
I'm so glad that I did this because I don't think I would have been where I am today if it weren't for Accelerator. One of the, the, the most important nuggets that I want other PTs to know is you're going to learn how to get new patients in and how to connect with them in a whole different level. Um, if you want to start a cash-based PT program, this is a must. If you uh, are in network, they are going to learn so many valuable nuggets. Um, as PTs, our number one thing is to connect with the patient and understand what they need. And while you think you know that, when you watch Accelerator, you're going to get so many other valuable nuggets that you think you knew, but when you join and you're present, you're gonna realize what I'm talking about. There's this intuitive sense of knowing and building and connecting with the patient on a different level, which is where it starts if you wanna grow your practice. The most important takeaway in the Accelerator program is you can do it, believe, believe in yourself, You've got to put in 110% effort once you have learned the most important nuggets out of Accelerator. <laughs> hmm, I think I would miss a lot of things. Starting from free phone consultation for a patient to trust building from there, to discovery session trust building, to trust building as the therapy sessions go on, to seeing them through their 12 to 14 sessions if that's what they need, to nurturing them as a client lifelong, not just up to their discharge session, to raising prices, to uh, um, follow up. The fortune is in the follow up. Don't give up when you see objections to creating a marketing plan and, and continuing to grow that marketing plan.